Hi, my name's Katie and welcome to my channel. In this video today, we're gonna to head to Atlas Aquariums here in Brisbane, Australia to check out a river tank. This tank is really amazing. It's got over 1,000 litres of water and it's got six 20,000 litre per hour pumps on it as well. Finn and Wilson are gonna run through the tank for us and tell us all about it. And Jason from Australian Biotopes was there to take some footage too and he's gonna provide the nice close-up shots in this video. If you wanna have a more detailed look at the store too, Keeping Fish Simple is gonna be uploading a full store tour. So keep your eye out for that video as well. But for this video in particular, we're just going to focus on the river tank. I do apologize that the audio can be a little bit noisy sometimes because the cascading water is just so incredibly loud in the background but I've done my best job to make it as good as possible so I really hope that you enjoy this video. Let's get into it. Alrighty, so I'm at Atlas Aquariums so now, and we've got Finn over here, Hi. and Wilson, Hi. and they're going to tell us a little bit about this river tank oh. that's over here. Yep. Some people may have seen this river tank on my Instagram, Katie's Cichlids. I posted it a couple of months ago, and it was really, really popular, so I thought it'd be worthwhile actually dedicating a whole video just to this tank. Whoever wants to start, um, well, I was thinking maybe someone could start with just talking about like how this tank even came about, like whose idea was it, where did it come from, and so on. Okay, so apparently it was Finn's idea? Yeah, so it was my idea, in, in case there's any, in case it's debatable at all, uh, in case anyone else tries to claim that it was their idea, it was my idea. Um, this is sort of a tank that I have always thought it would be a really cool thing and a really cool concept, but it's really, really expensive. <laughs> so it's not something that I could ever do at home, but in the shop, it's sort of, you know, it's for the business, so it's doable here. There's a tank in Germany in a shop called Pantarai. It is very similar to this. It's a little bit longer, uh, it's a little bit darker, and the flow is a lot more intense. The purpose of this as opposed to that is this is more supposed to be like a little chunk of river that's being cut out of the wild and just put straight in the shop. It's not a biotope by any means. It's all mixed in. There's, there's Asian fish, there's Asian plants, there's African plants. That's true. There's plants from all over the world in here. Yeah. There's rocks from all over the world in here. Yeah. Tried initially to make it a biotope, but we just felt it was a bit limiting with the options of what we could put in here. And so in order to make it, I guess, more pleasing to the eye and just have it yeah. fully planted out, we thought that, you know, we'll just, we'll can the biotope idea and we'll just go with whatever looks great. And so, yeah, we've got a really cool mix of fish in here that you can and might also not see as well because there's some really <laughs> cryptic ones that are always hiding. <laughs> yeah. They're about as expensive as they are yeah. cryptic, so we will yeah. never see them, but they're hopefully still in here. We and believe kicking. they're still in here. Oh, we the, pray. The most expensive fish that are in here are blue phantom plecos. They're retailing for around $1,500 each, and there is two in here which have not been sighted for about two weeks. <laughs> yeah. uh, but if you see them, it's a, it's a $10 discount. 10% yeah. Ten, 10 off your order if you see the... And uh, if you can show us as well, please. Yeah, 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 we need hard evidence. And so what fish can you see in here at the moment? So, fishes that you may see in the aquarium are, are glow light danios, are hiding under this log. They are a Southeast Asian danio species. Um, fast flow species, they're very very orange which you can't really see on this colour gravel um, but they're a beautiful fish, they really are. Hill stream loaches which are sort of the feature of the tank, um, there's over a hundred hill stream loaches in here. If you come around slowly you can see these guys here that are just finishing off their dinner in the dish and next to them is a klingovi, that's an adult klingovi, uh, that's an adult uh -huh. male. In He's the really dish. Cool. Yeah, in the dish. That's cool. The dish just sort of contains the black worm so it doesn't all go down into the filter. And if you look hard enough, you will also see baby hills from there because there's one on top of that rock there. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah. So tiny. Uh, there's multiple generations of them. There's riffle shrimp in here, which are like a filter feeding yeah, shrimp. They have fan, fan hands. Yeah. They sit in the current and just eat what <laughs> just they Just like collect. that? Yeah, yeah. That's sort of riffle like shrimp that, would look like. like. That. There's also Zollinger's loaches, which are another type of hill stream loach. 
but they're all the ones I see a bit less of because they like to hide all the time. Yeah. Tori's in here. This oh, yes. Barbados. Yeah. Uh, Slur and Mistax. <laughs> yes. It's a, a bit of a tongue twister. Tongue twister, yeah, yeah, yeah. They lay in here all the time. They lay eggs in here all the time, but I think most of their babies just end up getting recycled back into the food chain. Can you tell me just a bit about like how this tank works? Yeah. The main guts of it is under here. There is six 20,000 litre per hour pumps. They're controllable. Um, yeah, they're, they're set to the minimum, aren't they? No, they're set to the maximum. Oh, set to the max. It, it's roughly a thousand litres of actual water in here as well. So it is getting, what, it's getting turned over 120 times an hour. One of them runs through a sand filter, which I can show you here, which also has a net here. We like to keep it contained. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we also like to not risk any disease transfer into this tank um, because this is our flagship be, tank. This is our flagship tank and it would be extremely difficult to treat any disease in here. So the water goes down these overflows um, and then just goes straight into the pumps all the way up to the other end and then it overflows It's like a circle, right? Like from the top to yeah. the bottom? It circulates. It's recycling. And then it's yeah. on an angle too. It is, yeah. it is. So yeah, it's uh, 150 mil taller at this end. The stand is and the tank is on a slight slope as well. So both end panels are straight, but the side panel is slightly sloped. The plants are also a little bit of a feature in here. There's heaps and heaps of plants. There is no soil in here, so they all had to be plants that would either grow to the rocks and the wood. It's like Anubias, Bucephalandra, Java fern, that sort of thing. Um, or stuff that will grow in sand, basically. There's like your Val, which is growing all in here. Crypts. Um, and crypts, yeah. There's heaps of crypts in here as well, which do really well. There's a really nice pink flamingo crypt here. Oh yes, I love those. Yeah, it's doing really well. It's actually looking really gorgeous at the moment. Nice. There's a lot of Bucephalandra growing up here in sort of the waterfall sure. part. Rarer plant here in Australia. Yeah, um, in Australia it is quite rare. Um, you got like your wavy green. I think this is Skeleton King. Notice like on the driftwood as well, we've got some Talansia, so the air plant, so guys. old man's beard. And then we also have some bromeliads. And there are some ferns and stuff as well. Mm. Things that don't mind being splashed a little bit. There's a few resident spiders yeah, in here you know. as well. It is, it is a bit of it an is, ecosystem. Yeah, it There's is an ecosystem. Spiders. And then we've got a couple of rushes or something like yeah. that as well. And you know, it just kind of completes the whole river look, you know. And what are the lights that you've got on here? The lights are Chihiros uh, standards. WRGB. We really rate them. I think they're really, really fantastic lights. We use them on a lot of our different display tanks and I just sort of wanted it to be well lit. I, I think the last thing we wanted was for the tank to be really nice but it didn't look that good under light. Yeah. Um, the benefit of them is that we can change the full colour spectrum of them. Um, they turn themselves on in the morning, they turn themselves off in the afternoon um, and they actually have like a ramp up and a ramp down period so it's like an afternoon and an evening. Uh, which I think is nice for the fish, definitely. Whoa. Thanks to Michael, our electrician, for shout out Michael, <laughs> yeah, for mounting them for us as well. Um, there, there has been a lot of people involved in this. Yeah. Uh, the tank was built by a friend of ours, Rob from Aquarium Three on the Gold shout Coast. Shout out Rob! Yeah, shout out to Rob. Um, the scape was done by my good friend Phil. Shout out Phil! Uh, shout out to <laughs> Phil. Um, Phil lives in Perth and he was nice enough to fly over and skate this for us. Yeah. And we collected materials, we laid it out, and he basically did this in, what, one day? Yeah, like one night. Um, it was crazy. And then, and then he had to leave and I took him to the airport when he wasn't quite finished, but we managed to finish it afterwards. Um, then the planting, we just sort of all did a little bit of. Um, yeah, I guess so. Maybe not Wilson. He didn't. He doesn't do much around the shop. <laughs> I caught um, all. I caught all the uh, Sawelia out there. Yeah. So Wilson. Wilson caught all the hillstream loaches out of another tank and put them in here. Um, they had actually started to get eaten in the tank that they were in with our puffer. Um, developed the taste for them. <laughs> we sort of struggle to do water changes with it at the moment. When we turn the flow off, which I can actually show you, I can turn the flow off. You'll notice it's how very much quieter quiet. it is. You can hear a pin drop. Um, but the issue with leaving the flow off for a long period of time is the fish get trapped up in here um, because the hill streams and actually all the fish fully yeah, climb the up this part well, right? and sit up in the top bit. Yeah, you can see a 
think that's a loach maybe there. <laughs> Yeah, um, yeah, but when you have it off for too long, they dry out, yeah, essentially. Yeah, it's like the ropples and the tides, you know, stuff yeah. gets trapped up there. But yeah, I'll turn but it back yeah. on. I mean, you get a bit more of an idea of what yeah. it looks like. Yeah, I mean, and, and like you can see calm. everything so much better as well in the few moments when it's fully calm. Yeah. Like, we never <laughs> see this middle part because there's just too many ripples yeah. and glare. Yeah. But so. I do believe that's probably where the hill streams breed. Yeah, yeah. That's sort of premium uh, breeding area for hill stream loaches. But apart from that, it, it runs itself. Yeah, and yeah. you know, over the past couple of months that it's been running, it's been really nice to watch everything grow in as well. Mm. And yeah, there's more growing to do, and then at some point, I guess we'll have to start trimming as well. But mm. for now, we're and just really enjoying the process of it all just growing in. I think the most exciting part was the baby hill streams. Yeah, yeah. Like seeing that the hill streams are actually breeding. Yeah, well, in like here. they'll definitely breed. This is this is literally it. And then yeah. you know, and then it actually a couple happens. of weeks we we're holding our breaths. We're like, surely, yeah. surely, and then. When that first one popped up, everyone was so happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, thank you so much for showing no a bit worries, of a yeah. close-up, more detailed look of the Thanks river tank. Thanks for coming to film it. We're okay. very proud of this tank. Yeah, yeah you should be. Proud. I hope you've enjoyed having a look at it as well. And you'll have to do a video on it in a year when it's Yeah, grown. when it's grown in even yeah. more. But well, we'll get there. It'll be crystal clear this in a year. Is, yeah, it's my favourite tank. Words. My favourite tank. It's my favourite tank yeah. as well. Beautiful store too, like with so many other nice tanks and stuff as well. Um, the lights yes. are off at the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. <laughs> they just have to come see for themselves. <laughs> oh, that was Whoa. easy. Yeah, there you go. That was a cool effect. Yeah. Oh, awesome. Um, the fish may be a little bit asleep. And Nick is going to do a video as well. <laughs> um, showing like a more detailed look of the store and everything. So you can see a close up of all the tanks and everything. So that'll be awesome. All right. Well, I guess we'll finish up there then. Thank you, Katie. Thanks, guys. <laughs>